Morning, Investor Lifestyle family. God is good, God is great. So, basically, our channel today we're looking on. I mean, what happened with the reggae boys recently in the field campaign. And basically, we want to talk about a few reggae boys. I'm a big reggae boys fan. I come on to music and reggae boys football. I come on to football. I choose football over track and field. I love track and field. We come on to football as a team sport. It's my favorite sport. I'm a real reggae boys fan. I've watched most of the matches before COVID with my spouse. I mean, she can't tell them. When I like the heartbreak, I one match me I watch already still with feel like I said. I dog a run through my heart when they were losing. I have gone to the US to watch reggae boys. I've known about even Shamar Boza and Boza, big up yourself, going to Russia. And you're one of my strikers at him right now, not the prime. Was when you scored the goal in Washington, D.C. to beat the US 1 0. I'm, I'm a fan of many, of, of, of many reggae boys' victory. He would top up, wouldn't beat him 2 1. So this video may have touched on Darren Mattox. And first time since Mattox touched the field. National Stadium, Lowton, Shelton, Road of Austin I'll beat the US 2-1, Great History Big up yourself, top away more But in idea still, I'm still holding accountable for what happened in the campaign I don't know if it's JFS in terms of was choosing the team or, or, or what happened But in terms of the Darren Mattox, right? There was a post, so a lot of persons, you know, had different views on it still But what I can say, I'm just gonna give you your respect Because I don't think you have been getting the respect that you deserve amongst our locals and that respect is basically you have scored 18 goals for the country out of and created 12 assists out of 50 appearance all right so if you can do the math some people that means say a goal or assist every other game for reggae boys it is not easy to come and represent the country you know sometimes not under the best treatment as a local I mean, I sent catching man. Darren Mattox was a straight from Bridgeport days. I used to attend Glenmere High School. We have a strong football culture. Went to St. Catching High 6 um. So when Glenmere was playing Oliver Shield with Bridgeport back in the days, that's how I knew about Darren Mattox. And from that day, Mr. Darren Mattox, because my favorite at the time was Luton and Shelton. Them are Peeled Phillips, Rudolph Austin. But when I said Mattox straight, no I stopped saying Mattox. Then Andre Blake again. I met Andre Blake while I was at Glenmuir. Was I was in third form. Blake was, was I think going in first form. But eventually he moved to Clarendon College. And when I saw him, I think it was after was in a training. I went down to him. I don't Andre Blake, you asked the video. I go and Mr. Taylor said, Blake, you're going. Mr. Taylor said, Yo, you're gonna be great. You're one of the greatest team ever see. To be honest with you, I don't think even Blake get the respect because one of the greatest goalkeeper ever come to Jamaica through Jamaica history. But in a day because maybe he has not gone to a World Cup. But so going back to what has happened in the, in the field campaign, I am supporting my local base players and it's not their fault why we have not qualified. The fault lies with management, the leadership of the JFF, that's a reality still. They have to look into themselves. So basically, uh, this video I try to keep it as positive as possible still. But JFF management does basically look into themselves. A whole party is youths. Because we have been doing something every World Cup cycle and feeling. Every time we're going to work up, we flood the team with UK based players. Nothing is wrong with adding purses from the diaspora. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong with it. But you cannot have the same set of local players. When Caribbean Cup or Nations League, Gold Cup, those are the players who fight them all. Money no pay for on time, flying at economic class. Those are the players who keep the rankings, even recently. Keep the rankings. We jump for Jamaica within the top 70 to top 50 country. And at close to, to the big dance, to the World Cup qualifiers, they basically drop them or they bench them. That can't make no sense. So I'm saying this to all I'm saying this to all the vloggers and the body out there who criticize reggae boys that they are not good. How would you feel if you are training 
you're with a team, you give your all for the team. The least good thing you get the car from your car to represent Jamaica, you're happy. Like a soldier, you jump up and you go and play. And then when it's World Cup qualifiers, you don't make the cut. If it's a lack of fitness and indiscipline and injury, I understand, you know. But what we have to be reminded that these guys, from a Jamaican standpoint, they're, they're, they're investing in them. It's basically investing in the life of persons who are less fortunate who can impact their families. Example. The way forward should be you know, 50, a, a pool of 50 players. 30 players between the age of 16 to 20. The 30 best youth players in the country. 16 to, 50, to 20. The next 20 players are persons who have the best statistics representing the reggae boys, the experienced players between the age of 20 to 35 or even 34, put it this way because you need a little experience in a camp because what you will do is basically you are playing the experience with the new, new and over time you will get the, those new persons introduction in the team playing the big matches, getting a field, playing the Cup, Gold Cup play in the Nations League because we have to prepare for World Cup 2026 because if we don't make World Cup 2026 we will never go to a World Cup again because World Cup 2026 it's in our backyard in, the, in Canada, US and Mexico and some of those countries because of their hosts they will be automatically included in the World Cup so I'm saying this we have a, a grand opportunity to just basically look on solutions and, we, and, and going forward so basically, we can just ensure we have a proper blueprint to develop you, provide the best nutrition. I know it's financially it will be tough, but there is a, there should be a more than thirty private sector companies that can sponsor thirty youths, because the twenty other experienced players may likely have some contract or business running. They can be able to maintain them themselves. So the other thirty youths, basically thirty company, each company takes a player. And, and, and sponsor a player in terms of nutrition, proper meal, you know, gym time, you know, monitoring the personal development training because your attitude and discipline, you know, how you communicate, how you respond to management, coach and your peers is really important. So those are things that that is needed. So guys, my channel is about positivity, upliftment, empowerment, inspiring stories. I, I just want to say we know we feel sad and downhearted about the, the loss or even the field campaign but I want to big up every reggae boys every reggae boys local, even person in the UK but I love my local players because once you invest in the local players you're investing in brand Jamaica because once these players go to the MLS, USL they can take care of their family. That's a key thing to remember. Person look on and try to create division is, is created by even the media or even some of the fans at times. And maybe it's even managing the person will say um, the MLS and the USL players are no good. But remember this: when we weren't qualifying for the World Cup, we have to build. the only country that was giving us a chance at one point is basically North America. And I think they have one of the best incentives in terms of getting your family out of Jamaica. So why shouldn't a player turn down US or MLS when you maybe can bring your, your, your family and file for your family and give them a better life? So that's the question. So basically I'm not going to bash because in the days that they have a family to feed and it's better they are doing this and we should invest in them from private company from both government side standpoint because the idea is that it's taking our youths from crime and violence taking them from a society where scamming is the norm our scamming is basically the, the in thing right now chopping the line we can use sports to generate a lot of money for Jamaica so going going back to the, my fellow reggae boys loot and shelter you know R.I.P we should have given more awards to the reggae boys so from Investor Lifestyle Jamaica we are given some awards now to Loot and Shelter and Family you know Lifetime Achievement Award with the record for the most goals you deserve it you deserve it 
bro, you should have received more awards while you're alive. You're the only player in history to come in a match and score four goals in a, in a debut. A young player. So we go to Darren Mattox now. Yeah, Paul Tigger Davis, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Theodore, top of Whitmore. Good soldier for the country. Darren Mattox, 18 goals, 12 assists. Bro, you play, you fight for the country. So I focus on the road to you know people. So basically we have a camera did recording. Um I'm trying to I'm trying driving safe. So Darren Mattox, big up yourself in terms of the goal that you have scored and you're an excellent businessman because you run some of the best parties in Jamaica but people never know that still like you are running the best parties and promotion maybe big like Rami should are you getting to that level still so wishing you more success for your business Darren Mattox you know whatever person will criticize you person may say Darren Mattox straight I'm going to stand up with you straight whatever the unfortunate situation you, are, you still have lo a lot left for both Jamaica and club career so even getting a, a club wherever it could be small club, big club once you get in that playing time, you know, getting that gym work and fitness, basically your nutrition, I mean, you're, you're okay. So big up yourself, Darren Mattox. Andre Blake, one of our greatest goalkeeper. Blake was a straight. You want to big up yourself. Dwayne Miller, I'm a big up straight. You know, it's a Ryan Goddard Th Thompson, Rudolph Austin. Them are Peelet Phillips. Big up yourself. Straight. Nairon Nazareth. Adrian, Mary, Yappa, West Morgan. So I call out some people who know they're committed, you know. Big Ek, Michael Hector. If they had to give away the 3-1 three, three game in Mexico, you know. In, in terms of the Kanka Gold, Gold Cup Finals, Hector, I still love and respect you. Um, Boza, straight. Of a big up, Tyreek Maggie. Look out for Tyreek Maggie and Richard King. Richard King are the future people. They have Chung gone with, with, with left Arborview to Denmark. Came our taxi lines. Big up yourself, straight. Aka. From Masgavi days. Big ball, a Sporting Central. Your big artist, now stop the 40. Now stop the 40. A whole lot of respect. Your people, my real man. I'm proud of you guys. You guys represented Jamaica well. Enough love, enough respect, I'm proud, I'm a proud moment, I cherish what you guys have done or in fight. Taxi lines, I'm say, never forget the free kick where you sent it through 2017 at the finals. Alright, some warriors out there. Yes man, I know each and every one of you are taking on the family in Jamaica. And I have a business and, and setting up still. Because in the day that that's what we're preaching. To get involved, investing back in Jamaica. But and see and, and it goes back to I don't think over the local farms if you cherish you guys as superstars because number one we same thing with agriculture we we look at we we, we prefer imported food or maybe this is the, the system that way we prefer imported food coming in even the hotel we use about eighty percent of imported food in the hotel system that that is absolute madness most of the money leave in the country that that's that's crazy the same thing we, we, we prefer every World Cup cycle. We use the local purses them and every time near World Cup we dash them away. Everybody get excited. Yes one UK baller come, come on. Big up Michelle Antonio man. We come in late, but he represented. Big up Michelle Antonio, one of the few. One of the few which I want to see in our program continue. Right? Some big up Michelle Antonio. We can build a team with, with the locals with him. Liam Bailey, you know, wishing a speedy recovery. But another honorable mention, Ryan Sterling. You know, say you're not, you're not playing for Jamaica. But you, you make me proud in terms of your work and, and, and fighting racism, systematic racism. I met you at the year, I think the last term in terms of with Liverpool, the Crichton Auto motive. I don't know, I don't think you remember that still, but you're going to see the video. And I was looking at a vehicle to buy at the time. And I went in, I was speaking to his sales rep at Crichton. I said, Yo, that person look like Rhyme Storm, see on my TV. And the man kissed his teeth and said to me, You mad? You just sterling that. Go talk to the man, man, the man cool. So I went and I, and I, I, I go into him and boom, and fist and said, Sterling, what are going on? I said, Boy, I mean, I think I, did, I, mean, I expect say, that it was in the January period. I said, It's a club, and Master Brendan Rogers at the time gave him a break. And at the time, he was telling me that basically, you know, I have some artists, I invest back in my country, and 
we are Fox Sterling, I read off a bliss upon you and an honor him mention same way. I'm mean, like what what you you are doing and what you did. Keep investing in Jamaica and you are making me proud and you're making us proud. So so guys, I'm really proud I'm reggae boy. Be honest with you, this is a fair campaign, but the error is not their fault. It's not the players' fault. It's not the players. If we blame players, they give them a 10% blame. Remember a lot of things going to it, this management, you know, you have to have proper camps, proper nutrition program, flight, proper link up, proper you know, camps of training. But the guys them can build our field chemistry gel together as a unit, you know. Enough. So purses, just bear with them, see with them. And in the future, my company, I am willing to sponsor Reggae Boys. I am willing to sponsor other program a, 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 a Reggae Boys and sponsor them with the help of God. I am willing to do it. Because in the other days that they are Jamaicans, they are I'm, I'm, and I am patriotic. I got the opportunity to migrate to Canada back in 2017. I didn't. So the key thing is basically sticking to your Jamaicans, supporting them, loving them, encouraging them. You think cheating and all is encouraging about the, the, the discipline. Because you need 90% discipline and 10% talent. We have the talent here. And guys, just dream big. Don't don't see this disappointment or disappoint. See it as the next appointment for other business ventures. Look at Marlon King. Marlon King is a real estate guru doing work, excellent work in Africa. So you have the opportunity, guys, where where you can impact change. And for the younger players, as we mentioned earlier, keep a group of 50 players. 30 are the best players in between either 16 to 20. Build from, from that. Love you. Much respect. This is Investor Lifestyle. Remember to like, comment, share. And just before me leave, come in us my talk about Matos, a lot of persons um speak negative on Matos. There are some ballers, I call some ballers. Carlos Ruiz, Guatemala. I mean, maybe not a, a pause in football, but they have never left Carlos Ruiz. He's a conqueror bully. He knows how to get the goals. He knows how to score. That's what reggae boys needed. If you don't score a goal, you can't win much. Simple as that. We had a scoring problem. Although we had a defensive problem as well. The next thing. Um, Blanco, a chick John C named Blanco Bravo. Blanco. He was a Grim Reaper for Mexico. He was a god on the ground for Mexico. But club career, he, he wasn't he didn't have the best club career. But the Mexican F -F Football Association knew they had to have Blanco. Once you call Blanco off of the bench of Perry boys, Blanco will score a crater assist. Once Confederation Cup of his performance was great for, for, for Mexico, his club career wasn't that good. When come on, but Blanco represent. Now Blanco is going to represent representational politics. Because Blanco, Blanco is a man of the people. You have some of those players in the world, world football. Carlos Tevez is one from Argentina. Even though Tevez is a great club footballer. They have to fight him heart and soul more than Lionel Messi. So you have those players. So just to come back to Darren Mattox's situation is that Mattox fight for him country. You have to know when somebody passionate and fight for him country. Alright? So to leave you. So blessings. Like, comment, share. Big up yourself.